Don't you ever get caught sleeping with a desired white woman. If they catch you with one of their wives, if they catch you with an unmarried white woman who they consider desirable, they will destroy you. Black men dating white women is always a controversial taboo topic in the United States of America. And we all know why. There's a racist history between black people and white people. But to be specific, black men and white women. And we're gonna also talk about numbers. Black men represent five to 6% of the United States population, where white women are a larger percent of the United States population. And as black men become more skilled, when they move to bigger cities, when they move up in corporate America or in the entrepreneurial world, they're more likely to come across white women. And especially when they're in very niche pockets like country music. And that brings me to Mr. Jimmy Allen. Now, Mr. Jimmy Allen, was a rising star in the country music scene. He had a beautiful wife by the name of Alexis Gale. Uh, but now he had some issues with his former manager who, you know, they were carrying on um, a, a long affair. And of course the woman is unidentified, but you know, she's saying that, look, um, there was some alleged grape and abuse that taken place. While Jimmy Allen is saying that these things were consensual, but because of these allegations, he was dropped from his record label and now is looking to sell his home. But stop, wait a minute, there's another person coming out talking about Jimmy Allen and that person's going to make a case also. But let me just say this, this particular lady is also, in my honest opinion, lying. But before we get into what she said, I want to play a clip of what Dr. Umar said about black men dealing with white women and why this is all going to be so important at the end. Let's go. What are the snow bunny rules? What are the rules of interracial mating and dating that the white man has gave the black man? Because up until 67, you could go to jail for dating a white girl lose your life for dating a white girl get your reproductive sliced off your body for dating a white girl there's three rules snow bunny negroes must follow rule number one black men can only date the white women that white men do not want black men can only date the white women that white men do not want. Black men can only date the white women that white men don't want. Number one. TJ and Eme. TJ and Eme. TJ and Eme Udoka violated that rule. You can have the leftovers. You can have the sleep arounds. You can have the hoes. You can't have the women we desire. If she's married, she's desired by the white male. You can't take a white woman from a white man. That is a violation of the Snow Bunny Code of Conduct for Negroes. Rule number one, you can only have our leftovers. Rule number two, you can never take a white woman from her white man. That is an unforgivable rule of white power. Of white power. Rule number three. Don't you ever get caught sleeping with a desired white woman. If they catch you with one of their wives, if they catch you with an unmarried white woman who they consider desirable, they will destroy you. Now, before I address Dr. Umar, rewind, Dima. You see, I wanted to get the basis of what Dr. Umar said, because I want you to hear what the second lady is saying, Jane Doe 2. Now, she says that, look, 
you know, Jimmy Allen and her happened to be uh, on an airplane. They struck up a conversation, continued to talk weeks later. They engaged in daily communication on the phone. And after several months of long distance chatting, they agreed to meet in Las Vegas last summer, right? It was in a hotel room that she is saying that she was uh, sexually uh, bothered by Mr. Allen, okay? And when you look at the lawsuit, basically, uh, the lady was always inquiring about his wife, and he was telling her that um, the wife and him was separated and that him and her would have a future together, right? And he was expressing his love. He wanted to have children with her and make a good, and she would make a good stepmother for the children. But now she's saying that, you know, all of these things that he assaulted her and it doesn't make any sense. It seems like this woman is very disgruntled and that's the reason why she's coming after him. And we know that the lady has to be white. There's no doubt about it, but I want to go back to what Dr. Umar is saying. Why is Jimmy Allen being punished? Now, if this was hip hop, Jimmy Allen would not be punished to this. It, it wouldn't be to this severe, right? It wouldn't be so severe, especially if these ladies are black. It would be like, OK, you know, here's some other ladies out here trying to get the bag on this guy. You know, they're saying whatever. he, You know, this is not true. We'll fight it in court or we'll, you know, we're not going to drop him from the label. That never really happens to hip hop, but it's happening now. And the reason why it's happening now is because I believe the white community wants to prove a point. Number one, Jimmy Allen is a guest in country music. There are not many blacks in country music. So what they want to know is and let him know is the one white lady that we allowed you to have, you should have been happy with that. But because you want to go around and, you know, go out and, 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 and pretty much, you know, be a player player in the white community within the country music ranks, we're going to let you know that you are not one of us. OK, you don't belong here. This was the same thing that OJ had with that situation, although that was a murder case. But you don't belong here. Kobe Bryant, when he had a situation in Colorado Springs, you are not one of us. You do not belong here. And if you try to do that with people that we feel are valuable to us, we're going to make you have pain or, 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 or give you a bad experience because we don't want the other guys to come out and feel like they're going to have an opportunity like you, Mr. Jimmy Allen. So we're going to show you better than we can tell you. And that's something that black men still haven't gotten used to. The fact that you're not going to be equal to them. They're not going to allow you to go through their women. And we saw the same thing with Jonathan Majors, even though it seems clearly that Jimmy Allen is not guilty of any of this stuff but basically cheating on his wife, which is not necessarily a crime, but it is cheesy and being a womanizer. We can say that about him, but obviously there is no evidence to prove he's doing all of these things like grape and, and, and other kinds of abuse and harassment. That's something that can't be proven, but it doesn't need to be proven because we know that they will never get him on that. But in the court of public opinion, it's to, it's to prove a point that your black behind needs to know your place, son. And you can't come over here to country music acting like you do over in the hip hop community. Take that stuff over there to your people. You don't bring it over here like that. We let you get one white lady. Now you're trying to come over here and use your fame that we let you over here in country music. We let you get popping and you don't know how to act. You're supposed to be over there, be a good country boy, be a good Negro, but you're not doing that. You're feeling yourself. So we're going to show you that when you come over to our niche communities, when you're the only black over here, you got rules on you. All right. When you're the only black over here, you better act like you're the only black over here and don't get it twisted. I don't care how how much money you think you got i don't care how much fame you think you got but once you are over here in our community you'll never be one of us so if you don't want to act accordingly we're going to show you better than we can tell you and a lot of black men just haven't got the memo yet but i'm glad that dr umar is waking brothers up with that particular clip because that is exactly how they treat you that is exactly how it works whenever you're in a black city or whenever you're in a black city you know and you get accused stuff like this it's water under the bridge but when you take your behind over to idaho or salt lake city utah or in or in communities where it's all white people and you get accused of something like this even though if it's not true you're watched you're the enemy because you're not them 
and I hear so many black men all the time talking about how they want to go over there with other people, how they want to go over there with other women. And you never think about the fact that once they lie on you, you're done. You never think about the fact that even when she says, sorry, you're done because the crime wasn't what she did in the first place. Or the crime isn't the fact that, you know, you, you, you know, that you allegedly did this once you didn't do it. The crime was the fact that you thought you can get away with dealing with them in the same way you, you thought about dealing with your own women. See, you're supposed to keep that behavior over in the black community. You want to go and cheat and womanize on your women? You do it over there. But when you come over here, oh no, that's not going to happen. And that's where Jimmy Allen is where he's at. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Put your follow you, just the bell. We're out. <laughs>